This is Houston. Say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hi, my name is Matthias Monstre, and I am here to talk you through our initial experience with the Spot robot. Spot comes in two cases. The largest of the two contains the Spot and the remote. The smaller one contains the two batteries and the charging station. Spot comes in three editions. We have the Explorer. The Explorer is the one that everyone with some capital to spend can order for $74,500 today. The Enterprise edition is to be released early 2021 for around $99,000. For the academic edition, you need to be affiliated with a university of some sort. In order to remove the spot from the case, you'll need to grab it by its legs. With a weight of 32 kilograms, it's possible that you'll need some additional help. The capacity of one battery is around 605 watt hours. The average runtime is 90 minutes, the standby time is 180 minutes, and the recharge time is 120 minutes. They weigh around 4.2 kilograms each. The charging station has one C13 input and one output, but I'm not sure what the output type is. It comes with three cables, one to provide power to the charger, one to connect the charger with the battery, and one to connect the charger with the spot. We'll go more in depth regarding all the buttons, IOs, cameras, sensors and actuators in a future episode. That being said, in order to turn on the spot, you'll have to press and hold the power button for around 3 seconds. Same goes for powering it off. This will boot the system and after around 40 seconds you can connect to and communicate with your spot. However, there is still a hard lock on engine power. In order to request power and engine privileges, we'll need to unlock this by toggling the switch. 